All right, so let's consider the problem. 0 0.5 kg of steam at 3 bar has a volume of 0 0.358 meter cube. Question says, what is the degree of superheat? Okay, so first thing, let's get our given parameters. We were given mass M to be equal to 0 0.5 kg. We are also given pressure. P is giving us 3 bar. Okay, and we're giving volume. Volume V is actually um, 0 0.358 meter cube. And we have been asked for degree of superheat. So degree of superheat, DOX. Degree of superheat is actually temperature at superheated steam. Okay, minus saturation temperature. So all we need to do is find the saturation temperature and find the temperature of superheat. Okay. So first of all, we are given um, we have the mass to be 0 0.5, and since it's a steam, um, the next fraction for a steam is always one for a steam for a steam dryness fraction. Dryness fraction is equal to 1x is equal to 1 since it's a steam and we know that total volume is simply mass times dryness fraction x times volume at gas okay so if the total volume is known and um, the total volume is giving us 0 0.358 so we have 0 0.358 and that's equal to the mass was given as 0 0.5 so you have 0 0.5 um, um, our dryness fraction is simply 1 times Vg. So this is called the given saturation volume. Okay, due to this volume that is given to us, this is called given saturation volume, given by the volume. Okay, due to the volume given to us. Alright, so let's make Vg subject. Vg is simply equal to 0 0.358 divides 0. 0.5. Five. So if we do this, it means now that the given saturation volume, okay, given saturation volume, okay, Vg is equal to, um, is equal to, okay, this device by this will give us um, 0 0.716 meter cube per kilogram. So this becomes the given saturation volume, all right? Now, we can also find saturation volume due to the given pressure. Pressure is given us um, 3 bar, okay? We're giving the pressure as 3 bar. So let's now go from saturated water and steam. All right, so from saturated water and steam table, okay, and steam table corresponding to 3 bar, we can get Vg, which is volume specific volume of gas at that point. So let's check this out now. All right. So as usual, let's let me zoom this up a bit. We are looking for three bar. Uh, this is two points, two point six. Okay, this is three point five, and this is three bar. So this is three bar. This is a column for the pressure. Not forgetting this column for temperature, and this is a column for volume specific volume. And the gas okay so 3 bar is simply here so this is um okay yes that's a specific volume at 3 bar this 3 bar okay so we have 0 0.6057 so the given specific volume um due to the pressure vg is simply um okay let me take this down a bit all right so we have 0 0.6750 kilojoules sorry meter cube per kilograms so this is specific volume due to the gas all right so let's compare the two now we obtain a value for specific volume due to what the given volume given to us and we obtain that value to be 0 0.716 this is the given specific volume all right so since the given specific volume since v given is greater than saturation specific volume vg of course, this is 0 0.716 and this is 0 0.59. Um, <coughs> this is 0. Point, sorry, this is 0 0.6750. So since Vg is greater than um, V given is greater than Vg, it means um, this means um, steam is actually superheated. 
it means the steam is superheated okay since it's giving specific volume is greater than the saturation specific volume that simply means that steam is um, superheated okay so we'll go to the superheated steam table now corresponding to 0 0.716 so we'll now go to superheated steam table okay from superheated steam table corresponding to um, VG equal to 0 0.716 meter cube per kilogram. So we see the superheated steam table corresponding to this. We need to now find what is the superheated temperature. The superheated temperature lies at this given specific volume. That's why we we'll get C superheated. And that's equal to. So let's go. Um, like I said, the steam table is divided into two. This is called... Um, <coughs> This is saturated water and steam, so we look for superheated steam. Okay, let's go to superheated steam. Okay, this is superheated steam. Okay, you can see that. That's superheated steam. So now all we need, these are the values of VG. Let me take it up a bit, okay? These are the values of VG. Okay, so the very first values are values of VG. This is VG from zero point. And what we're looking for is VG at um, 0 0.716 0 0.716 all right so these are the values of vg from 0, 0.0 which is not what we need um vg 0 0.7 this is 0, 0.0 so we can check over here so vg is always the first followed by ug followed by hg and, and sg okay so these are different values for vg so let's find the one that corresponds to 0, um, 0.7 so if you see VG here is one point, VG here is one point six, VG here is one point one, VG here is zero point eight. So I think zero point six, zero point seven will be around this region. This zero point nine, okay, no. This zero point nine, okay. This is for zero point six, okay. So we can get zero point seven from here. So this is zero point six. This is zero point seven one six. So this is what we are looking for. And the temperature that corresponds to this, um, trace it up. Temperature that corresponds to this is 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it means saturation temp. Sorry, superheated temperature at zero point. At zero point. Okay, let me zoom this down. So superheated temperature at zero point seven one six is giving us 200 degree celsius okay next is now to find the saturation temperature this saturation this is at the given specific volume due to the pressure three bar so we can always go to pressure three bar that's saturation um saturated water and steam table so we go to the saturated water and steam table corresponding to three bar this is saturated water and steam corresponding to three bar so this is three bar and this is the temperature at the three at the three bar it's also a temperature corresponding to the specific volume 0 0.6057 which we found okay at that given pressure so at three bar the saturation temperature is given as 133.5 so saturation temperature is simply 133.5 degrees celsius and i told you earlier that um, degree of superheat dos okay is simply superheated temperature minus saturation temperature so that simply means that degree of superheat is simply superheated temperature is giving us 200 degrees Celsius minus saturation temperature is giving us 133.5 and this is actually 66.5 degrees Celsius and that's the answer. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do well to like, um, share your thoughts in the comment section and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new to this channel. I'll see you in the next video with another wonderful question on working fluid. Thanks and cheers.